Alright, hi guys and welcome to week two of our Treasures from the Attic series. Now last week I showed you guys an artifact that had to do with the formation of Stanley County. This week the artifact is not from Stanley County and it's not actually even from the United States. Uh, in 2003, this handkerchief, a family Bible, and several other artifacts were donated to the museum by an Emerson Hayworth Jr. Now according to the donor, uh, this handkerchief was gifted to his great-grandfather by Queen Victoria when he danced with her at her court. Uh, just for those who don't know a little background uh, about Queen Victoria, she was Queen of Great Britain and Ireland from 1837 until her death in 1901. Uh, her reign lasted 63 years and seven months, the longest of all of her predecessors, and has only been surpassed now by Queen Elizabeth II. Um, so while we would love to think that we have Queen Victoria's handkerchief in Stanley County Museum, we unfortunately cannot just take word of mouth. Uh, so because of this, in 2013, a volunteer at the museum, Emily Zuno, uh, decided to see what she could find out about the family that was mentioned in the Bible that was donated along with this handkerchief. And she very quickly found out that the Hayworth family figures very prominently in the British historical record. Um, so during Victoria's reign, Lawrence, the gentleman that was gifted this handkerchief, his father was Omarad Hayworth, and he was, among other things, uh, one of England's leading industrialists. He was a shareholder of the Midland Railway, and he even sponsored a Royal Navy expedition to the Arctic. Uh, Lawrence's uncle, who was also named Lawrence and who Lawrence was named after, he also was a leading industrialist, and he served on Parliament. And I'm just giving you guys a very condensed uh, sum up of all that Emily uncovered about the Hayworth family. Uh, there is a lot out there. Um, and they were very influential in um, the industrialization of the English textile industry. So based on just the Hayworth family um, alone, they definitely did have the clout to be at court with Queen Victoria. Now for the handkerchief itself, um, it is a full 18 inches square and it is made of silk. Uh, the scalloped edges are richly embroidered and it has a lace edge about two inches wide. Uh, Queen Victoria liked lace very much, uh, so much so that when she got married, she requested that her wedding dress be made white to show off all the lace. Prior to that, wedding dresses actually did come in a variety of colors. So Queen Victoria really was the trendsetter of wedding dresses being white. Now onto the body of the handkerchief itself, we have two crowns, one here and one here, and there is a Victoria cross above this crown. Below it, uh, the crown, there are two initials that are hand embroidered. There is a V and an A. And over here, we have an initial of an L. So, the million dollar question is, do these initials and symbols help strengthen the uh, claim that this is Queen Victoria's handkerchief? And the answer is most definitely yes. The V is obviously for Victoria, and the A uh, is for her husband, Prince Albert, um, who she loved very much, and he passed away in 1861. Um, his death sent her into such a deep depression, she entered a period of mourning that lasted for the rest of her life uh, for the next 40 years. Now this little crown over here in the initial L, the L actually matches two of her children's first names, Louise uh, and Leopold. So it's possible this handkerchief was made for the Queen Victoria to commemorate the birth or christening of one of these children. So while we may never definitively know if this was Queen Victoria's handkerchief, um, the status of the Hayworth family, including uh, the initials and the symbols, plus the quality of the handkerchief itself, really does give a basis to make the claim that this is uh, Queen Victoria's handkerchief. Uh, so a very nice find that we have up in our treasures of the attic. So I hope next week you guys will come back and see which next artifact I will show you guys. All right, thank you guys, bye.